So, as I'm taking a stroll out on this excessively cold November evening, at least it feels excessive right now, I wanted to talk about a topic that I find rather irritating, namely prejudice against weapon collectors. You know, people in general who are interested in uh, weapons and even some tools as well. I mean, a lot of things that some people would recognize or, or interpret as weapons are tools and vice versa. And in many cases, you can use them interchangeably. But, um, you know, even on this channel here, which is obviously, uh, you know, at a glance, you'll figure out that this is about weapons and tools. You know, primarily weapons, you know, swords, knives, other blades, firearms. So it's pretty easy to recognize for what it is and leave if you're scared of these things or have a problem with that in some way. But even here, occasionally, I get negative comments from people who are just judgmental and jump to conclusions and basically treat me as some kind of you know, potential homicidal maniac who is about to prepare a killing spree or whatever. Which, um, that kind of reaction is really disrespectful and just close-minded and ridiculous and just ignorant to the point of stupidity, in my opinion. I mean, come on. <laughs> just because someone has an interest in historical weapons doesn't mean that they have any kind of violent impulses. In fact, you can perfectly well be a pacifist, but interested in weapons. Now, myself, I would actually identify as a pacifist, in the sense that I'm opposed to war. And please don't misconstrue this as I hate soldiers, that's bullshit. Okay, just to make that clear, because I know that quite often when someone mentions that they're a pacifist and someone else jumps to the conclusion that they they hate soldiers or they want to see them die or whatever, they accuse soldiers of doing their job or whatever, blah blah blah, all of this bullshit. No, that's not the case. As with anything in the military, you have people with you know genuine good intentions and you have people who abuse their uh, power or authority or whatever it may be and you know, do it for the wrong reasons but that's beside the point the point is I'm opposed to war overall I see nothing positive about it yes of course you can point out that some uh, inventions and some technology that is nowadays very beneficial has come from warfare and you know medicine has, has made progress because of battle wounds and all of that yeah, that's all fine and good, but at the same time, war has also caused a lot of suffering and has held society back. And it has also resulted in physical as well as personal damage that has actually slowed progress and has made you know, lengthy times of recovery necessary during which uh, scientific and social progress was halted or at least slowed down. And also, just because we have some of these things as a result of warfare doesn't mean that we wouldn't have gotten them otherwise. So, I have a problem with it because it is just, for the most part, a waste of life. I mean, you send people against one another who don't know each other, who have no personal problems with one another, and then you, you also typically push an agenda that expects them to throw their life away, well, to sacrifice their life for some um, supposedly greater good, which quite often, well, maybe I shouldn't say often, but which in certain instances afterwards turns out to be not such a great, you know, great a good, or not a good good at all. So, yeah, I have a problem with that. And I'm also opposed to violence. I see violence as sometimes a necessary means to you know, protect yourself. It's not a way to you know, end verbal conflict or you know, to get rid of people you don't like. 
obviously. But that's the kind of thinking that people, apparently, sometimes, you know, the kind of prejudice that people sometimes have against anyone with an interest in weapons, even if it's just a historical interest. It's, you know, at best, it's regarded as kind of something weird, like, oh, what's wrong with you? You're kind of a weirdo. But, uh, well, screw you. <laughs> what is weird about that? I mean, any kind of hobby can be considered weird. It, it's not, it doesn't really matter. The, the term weird is so vague. It basically just means something that you either don't understand or, or and, uh, don't like. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Something that deviates from your personal subjective norm, which, uh, yeah, everybody has their own. So that doesn't say anything. And it's extremely annoying to be associated with, uh, you know, crazy people and those with no intact moral values, or at least very twisted morals, uh, just because you happen to be interested in a certain type of object. Hey, dog. Hi there. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> Aren't you a friendly one? <laughs> Hello. So yeah, I sure wish people were just a little less judgmental. I mean, yeah, I get it. That's you know part of human evolution. We jump to conclusions because back then, as hunter-gatherers, that made us survive. You know, we take a quick, quick glance at something and uh, try to establish if that's a potential threat or not. But uh, nowadays, that doesn't really serve us so well anymore. So I can tell you that even though I don't have actual statistics, I doubt that there are any on this specific topic. But uh, I'm, I can assure you that most people who have a weapon-related hobby are into you know, swords, knives, and yes, even firearms. Most of them are not violent at all. They have no desire to assault and harm another person. If attacked, they may defend themselves, yes. And if you have a problem with that, then, well, quite frankly, I have a problem with you. Unfortunately, there is a lot of this anti-self-defense mindset. Like, oh, if, if you're attacked, well, you better hope the police arrive in time. Otherwise, you, well, you just have to bend over and take it, pretty much. That is just a despicable attitude, in my opinion. But let's not get too much into that. The thing is... There is a very large community of weapon collectors, and most of them are just fine, you know? Yeah, sure, you have the assholes, you have them everywhere, it's human to be an asshole, <laughs> or at least to have certain numbers of them. You have good people, you have bad people, you have everything in between. You know, most people, most humans in general are somewhere in between. They have their strengths and weaknesses, they have, you know, good intentions and not so good and, you know, that's just life, okay? But, uh, yeah, I think I've rambled enough about this. Yeah, it might surprise some people that I identify as a pacifist, but, uh, yeah, that's how it is. I'm, I am not indulging in violent fantasies whatsoever. I mean, yes, I do play violent video games sometimes, and I collect weapons, but that's it. I definitely consider violence a kind of shit hits the fan last option, that kind of thing. And I would not use it unless absolutely necessary. So yeah, I think that's about it for now. I really want to get in, get warmed up because this is ridiculous. It's way too cold so early in winter, but oh well. Thanks for listening to my rambling. <laughs>